Hi there. Uh, finally got my inverter delivered to me. Uh, this is the uh, MSH4024RE inverter charger. And uh, it's their renewable energy model. Uh, the reason I specifically bought this unit is because uh, it's the only one that I saw that you can hook up uh, a generator to and run the generator at the same time uh, that you're using the inverter function and augment uh, the power output. So this is a 4,000 watt inverter and you can hook up to a 2,000 watt generator to it and it, then you would get the combined power of 6,000 watts. So uh, I thought that this would be uh, useful if uh, in the summertime I wanted to run the air conditioner on the roof of the travel trailer uh, the 2000 watt inverter is not enough to do it by itself. So, uh, be hooking this up and seeing uh, if, it, if it gets the job done that way. Okay, my apologies in advance if this is a little shaky because I'm doing this by hand because I can't get my tripod set up right here. But basically, this is my Midnight 200 with the cover off. And this is the hole that the cables are going to go through. This is my uh, MMP right here, and here's where the cable from the charge controller is going to go through and connect to the panel. Now, when I watched the midnight installation video, they were hooking it up to their own power panel, and of course the hole was the perfect size for their perfect kit that they had going to it. Unfortunately, this hole is significantly larger than this hole right here and I called uh, Magnum up and they suggested I call Wholesale Solar which is kind of funny because I almost purchased a pre-built kit from them uh, and then decided I was going to do it myself and try to save about 600 bucks anyhow we'll see if that was a, a smart decision in the future but basically uh, and then I called the guy that bought this all together as a kit and he was clueless so I went to Home Depot and got lucky because I actually, the very first guy I talked to, immediately knew what I was looking for uh, and hooked me up with this spacer that allows me to adapt it from the big hole down to a smaller hole. And uh, I just have this nipple right here, which is very similar to the model that they had in the midnight uh, installation. And I think this was like $3 and it came with a nut. And then uh, the lock washer, you know, that was under a buck. And there was actually two sizes of these. And the guy's like, well, it's either this size or that size. And one was 57 cents for a pair, and the other one was 87 cents for a pair. So uh, that is pretty cheap insurance right there, so I got them both. Anyhow, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this together and uh, show you where I'm at. And then this is the bracket that came with the panel to uh, hold the top of the unit on but you'll see it when it all comes together okay here it is connected to the power panel and then uh, for a finishing test touch I went ahead and put that uh, insulated bushing on there and that's what they uh, also do in the midnight installation video so uh, and the guy at Home Depot said that's required for code if someone's gonna come out and take a look at it uh, which is unlikely in my situation but anyhow it's still good practice and I got it hang off the edge of the bench there so you can see it's attached and then all I have to do is up on the top there's a little screw that goes in uh, sorry for that right right into that thing right there okay what we're looking at is the top of the 200 and right here is this hole is supposed to be where you put a screw through and this keeps the top from wiggling around it doesn't really support much weight it just kinda helps firm it up the problem is this hole is too low so when you put the screw in it doesn't bite into this little bit of plastic right here and you can't put a washer in because um, the what there's either the washer is going to be too small or it's going to be too big because there's just not enough grip right here and all everything's down there uh, so my choice would be to drill another hole but there's not really a lot of meat right there 
what I think I'm going to do is just use a cable strap, which is kind of hinky, uh, to strap that down just to keep it from wiggling. But it, because it doesn't actually support it anyway. But you know, it's pretty disappointing, really. Anyhow, another little bit of joy. The cable zip tie lacked a certain amount of positive action I was looking for, so I just went ahead and uh, put a very unsexy uh, bolt and nut on there. But it's on there good now. Okay, I've decided uh, at first I was just going to mount my inverter and the uh, MMP to, the, to a couple of 2x4s. And uh, and not use this back panel, and uh, but I decided I'm going to go ahead and use the back panel anyways, uh, primarily because it comes with uh, holes that are pre-drilled into it or have fittings, and I can just bolt the panels right onto this super easy. So I'm going to bolt uh, the back panel onto the two by fours, and then. Uh, use the screw machine screws provided to attach the inverter and MMP to this afterwards. Need something longer. Here's where it's going to get fun because this top piece is so heavy.
and here's the finished product I got the top plate up on the top I meant to show that and then uh, I hit there was a little filming mistake so I'm not sure what its function is but it came with the kit so I put it on there and I got the panel mounted up on here and I just have to wire it all together and hook my solar panels up and I finally got the last of my wiring in the mail today so I can get started on that this is what it looks like from the back side uh, basically what I've done this is so heavy uh, I have quarter inch bolts going through and then I got nice big uh, washers on the other side of there's four on each side there's room for one more and I may go ahead and put a cross piece uh, in here although that wouldn't actually be supporting any weight so I may or may not do that I'll have to decide uh, when I do my final installation but uh, this thing is ridiculously heavy so I don't know. It's, any, any video you watch where someone's got one of these magnets the first thing they say is this thing's a beast and, and they're not lying <laughs> 